Right, okay. Sorry for the gap there. I've been out for dinner, went to a little neighbourhood bistro called Moira Jane's, just around the corner from where I live in the south side of Glasgow. I had satay chicken with rice and salad. It was very delicious. Anyway, let's get on with your talent research, which is what I love doing at half past seven on a, uh, on a Friday evening. So let me share my screen. And okay, so I have added in the jobs that you've asked for. I'm going to do four in one here. I'm going to do four consecutively. So I go down to research. And uh, what I would, of course, do is I would go into the find research area and I would select from whatever it is I'm looking for in order to see if we've already got something to save me from building new. But if we don't, then I'll go into create and I've added all these jobs into the technology area. So the first one is a big data engineer. This is for Luciano. It is full time on site and it is in Madrid, el capital de España. Uh, so understanding jobs, what's the main responsibilities for a big data engineer and explain it so a 10 year old would understand. It's like a detective who works with computers to help find important information hiding in lots and lots of data. Basically, they solve mysteries and uncover secrets in then big piles of information. Right. That's fair enough. I want to know a bit more, though. That's too simplistic. So ramp it up to 16. And OK, imagine you've got a huge puzzle with thousands of pieces scattered all over the place. Uh, they design and develop software programs to help make sense of data uh, that can help businesses to improve products and services. Right, fine. OK, I understand roughly what it is. So I don't need to be able to do the job. I just need to be able to find the people. So what other job titles mean the same type of thing? Uh, data engineer, data scientist, data analyst, business intelligence analyst. They're all slightly different, but they're in the right type of ballpark. What academic institutions in Madrid would train people to do this job? Universidad Politécnica de Madrid, Universidad Autónoma de Madrid, y Universidad Carlos III de Madrid, por ejemplo. All right. What orgs employ the most big data engineers in Madrid? Telefonica, BBVA, Santander. Okay. I've got quite a lot of information that'll help me go sourcing now. Let's take the questions. What would be good to ask these people? Describe experience with big, big data technologies and tools such as Hadoop Spark. Okay. Right. What else do we need to find out? And who for? James asked for a highly fungible stroke custom role pro programmer project manager. Yeah, we probably need to more information to get great results for that. But let's have a look. Research, create research. Again, I added that job title into technology. So it is a project manager. It's full time on site in Austin, Texas. Understanding the jobs, what's the main responsibilities, explain it so a 10 year old would understand. And it's like the captain of the ship. Okay, they keep the project on track, make any adjustments if things aren't going as planned. Let's make this so that an 18 year old would understand and see what it's going to give us. It'll give us a decent overview of what the job is. Um, but of course, it could mean lots and lots of different things. So in this instance, what I'll probably do is I would probably go into instead of understanding jobs, I would go into the general question area and I would free freehand type in what I need. Or I would go into the job title area and say project manager, investment, uh, banking, technology or whatever else it might be, perform the research. And this is going to be a considerably more specific uh, response that you're going to get as a project manager in investment banking technology, right? Um, this is uh, a lot more specific to that particular research request. Okay, who else wanted some information? Fanny did. 
for an infrastructure architect for a tech company in Europe. Tech company in Europe is probably a little bit um, vague. Europe is very vague, uh, but an infrastructure architect. Okay, create research technology uh, infrastructure technology infrastructure architect full time on site in Europe. Let's put remote actually. Working from home in country Europe. Understanding the jobs. Explain it so a 10 year old would understand. Responsible for designing and planning the tech systems that supports a company's operations. All right, great. Um, what are the most important issues for somebody like this? Perform the research. Maintaining a secure and reliable tech infrastructure, scalability and flexibility, compliance with regulations and standards, cost management. Yep, sounds absolutely right to me. Uh, what are some icebreakers that I could use? Write them with a professional tone and in UK English. Notice that you can change these if you want. These are just because in my workspace environment, professional is the tone of voice and UK English is the language that we've selected. So here's some potential icebreakers for you. When you go into the marketing area and the global rules, and the content prompts area, within there, you can put things in which are gonna mean that the responses to all of this is much more specific to your company and your requirements. Who else asked for something? Ah, Steve, my brother, my brother in talent acquisition technology, Steve Gordon. Right, do some research for customer success for talent acquisition tech platform UK. Okay, so let's leave it in technology. Customer success, talent acquisition technology, uh, remote, and United Kingdom. Understanding the jobs. Uh, what, are the, what are the main responsibilities for this job? Explain it so a 10-year-old would understand. Here you go, Steve. Time to tell the kids what dad does. To help companies to find the best employees for their business. This person helps the company use technology to attract and hire the right people. To make sure the company's hiring process runs smoothly and that both the company and the employees are happy with the results. I'm gonna have to tell you the truth. I don't think that is a particularly great response. I'm just gonna say it. We didn't do a brilliant job with that one. Let's ramp it up so an 18 year old would understand. Okay. So it's all about helping companies to find and hire the best people for their job openings. I mean, this is all broadly true. Helping customers to use the talent acquisition technology effectively. Absolutely. Guiding them through the process of using the software platform to search and connect with potential candidates. Yes. Providing support and training to customers. Yes, that's all correct. Building and maintaining relationships with customers. Absolutely. Analyzing data metrics. Yeah. Okay, it's to make sure that customers are able to effectively use the technology. I think that's fair enough, yeah. Right, so what other job titles mean the same? Perform the research. Customer success manager, client success specialist, customer experience manager, talent acquisition specialist, customer success. That would be somebody that's recruiting customer success people. So, you know, in some of these, you definitely need to understand the nuances, but uh, what academic institutions in the United Kingdom train people to do this? I mean, there is no TA technology customer success courses, I don't believe. I don't think any of us left uh, school uh, to do this. But uh, degrees in human resource management and business management, that's a little bit vague. But of course, Steve, you gave me a very, very specific job there, of course. Who employs the most of these people? That'll be interesting. Well. B. Marie, Avature, Phenom People, and Steve, you are included within this list. Smart recruiters. Wonderful. I hope that's been interesting. Uh, I don't give it a 10 out of 10, what I've just showed you, but it's a very, very good start, I think.